A parliamentary house committee, the Public Accounts Committee, has sanctioned the prosecution and immediate sacking of senior NRM Politburo officials, including the Vice President, Professor Gilbert Wukenya, over the misuse of Chogom funds. Others who potentially face a day in the dock are Security Minister Maman Babazi and Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa. However, the committee recommends that Agriculture Minister Hope Mwesiji faces anti-corruption court for unilaterally sanctioning the White Elephant Beautification Project in Kampala. As lawmakers this evening put final touches to this controversial report, one thing that is clear is the battle lines have already been drawn for an expected debate tomorrow in the plenary. However, donors continue to mount pressure on all those that are accused. According to highly placed sources who attended the heated meeting at Parliament that ended at 8 p.m., a few NRM lawmakers wanted to nip in the bud an indictment on ministers in Babazi and Mwesije. To discuss a report which is coming to Parliament is their own problem. But I'm sure the President would love to do something important on this report. The Vice President and other ministers hardly received support from lawmakers. But shortly after the meeting, some NRM lawmakers rushed to meet government chief whip Daudi Migereko. Many questioned the meeting with others raising fears that perhaps it has been planned to sink the proverbial ship before it docks. Why should they call them when it is important that now we are dealing with accountability? Why should they whip them? For what? It is important for public accountability there should be no parties. The report will be tabled tomorrow in the plenary for debate. Emma Mtaizewa, NTV 11.